Hi, I'm Al with Above and Beyond Creative Sewing, and today we're going to be threading up the Baby Lock Victory for a three thread rolled edge. If you have a traditional serger and you don't know about the Baby Lock Victory, you'll find that the features on this machine are truly wonderful for a serging experience that you won't have with a typical serger. The Baby Lock Victory offers you automatic thread tension air threading so you don't have to fuss with tweezers to do the loopers um, just really wonderful and easy to use so let's go ahead and get started the baby lock victory comes with this wonderful quick reference threading guide which shows you all the stitches that you can do with your baby lock victory and how to thread the machine and set it up for the over for the um the particular stitch you're doing so we're going to be doing three thread rolled edge so we have all of our parameters right over here pretty straightforward to follow we're going to need the right needle which I already have in the machine. I'll bring that up so I can show you. I have the right needle installed. I'm gonna set my length to R for rolled and just under one millimeter. So we're gonna turn this down to right about the one millimeter mark. It tells me that I should have my width set to 3.5. So I'll go ahead and set that. And I should have my stitch selector, which is right over here, set to D. And that's going to be for my tension so it makes it really automatic so once i have all those things set i'm going to open everything up here and we're going to go ahead and thread the machine you have this nifty little button you push in right over here and you turn the hand wheel towards you until the threading pipes engage and that gives the thread a path to go through the looper for you so let's start with our upper tent our upper uh looper we're going to bring our thread down bring it into the channel into the guide I'm going to drop the end of the thread right into the port here for the upper looper. Oops. And I'm going to move this switch to upper for upper looper and give the pump one push. That's going to tighten my thread up so I know it's gone into the looper. I'll pull down a nice length, push it again, and there is my upper looper already threaded without any tweezers. And I know that's kind of magical because most of the time, you're fighting to thread that looper a lot, especially if you have all those little um, hooks that it has to go in before it gets into the looper. So this just makes it that much easier. So the upper looper is done. I'm going to switch the lever over to lower looper, and we'll go ahead and do the lower looper now. Just as easy. I put it right in the guide right there. Get it behind this guide right over here. Take the end of the thread, put it in the lower looper port. Give it one pump. Pull down on the thread, and voila, my lower looper is now threaded. That's how easy that is. It's truly remarkable. Switch this back over to um, surging because I don't need it to be threading now. And let's get our needle threaded. So the needle is just as easy. Just come straight down here, across, under, over here, into the guide. Make sure your thread end is nice and clean. So I'm going to give it a little snip with my scissors. And I'm simply going to thread my needle. Sometimes lowering the foot helps get in there a little bit easier. Good. Find the eye of the needle right there. Whoops. Now this is the part where you may need to use tweezers, which does make it a little bit easier if you're having difficulty seeing the eye of the needle. Luckily, I got it in pretty quickly, so not a problem. We're going to take this thread and feed it under the foot to the back so that we don't have any stitching getting caught up on itself. Just like that. And now I'm ready to surge. So I went from not being threaded to being threaded and ready to surge in just a minute or two. It was really, really simple. Raise my presser foot, take my fabric, slide it under, lower my foot, and now I'm ready to surge. My cutter's right on the side so I can cut my thread. And look how beautiful that came out, front and back. 
And that's just how easy it is to use the Baby Lock Victory Serger. And most of the Baby Lock Sergers we sell include the air threading. Some of them have a pump, like I showed you today. Some of them have a push button. But the point is it makes your threading so much easier, which makes your sewing more enjoyable. You're not going to spend and waste all that time just getting your machine threaded. You know, time is important. You know, you, you want to enjoy what you're doing. And sometimes saving the time on all the little minutia makes your enjoyment that much better. So the Baby Lock Victory will certainly add to that. Now, we have one item that comes with your Baby Lock Victory serger. That's a free kit that's included right now. So if you purchase a Baby Lock Victory or any of the Baby Lock sergers, you're gonna get this wonderful toolkit, which in includes a fabric control tool, a seam ripper, double eye needles, and a wonderful pair of double curved scissors, which is great for, for cutting all your loose ends makes it a lot easier and this is actually a value of about forty dollars and this is included with any baby lock serger right now including the victory so if you like what you see and you want a baby lock victory give us a call or stop into the store we'll be happy to get you all fixed up with one if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to call and ask us we're always here and always available to answer your questions so i thank you so much for joining me today and you have a wonderful day